The Bill Show is on the road today. Guess where I am? I am in Walpole, New Hampshire, visiting a iconic and very famous builder called Benson Wood Homes. Ted Benson is the founder, and he's going to be giving us a tour of this place today. This is going to be awesome. Me and the engineering sales team sits like here, and then the roof here. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Throw that camera on. Tour. I really enjoyed hanging out here at the Bensonwood facilities. Now, we went to their original timber frame facility earlier, and it was funny seeing Phil. What a, how cool to see a guy that I was on the job site with a few years ago. Hey guys, you may remember Philip from a video I made a long time ago and from the cover of the journal like construction. But when I built at Bensonwood down in Austin, what was it, four years ago? Yeah. Yeah. He and Kevin came down to help me and my framers. I'm not a framer, he didn't help me. He helped my framers build the house. And in what, four days, five days, we were under roof on that house? Yep. So he came all the way from up here in New Hampshire, down to Texas. And how many trucks did we bring? Do you remember? Um, probably six or seven trucks. Six or seven trucks. I don't trucks. remember exactly. But he totally remembered the clients <laughs> there as soon as I saw him. Man, it's so good to see you again, brother. Hopefully we'll get another one down in Texas soon, so we'll hopefully some future videos, and I'm gonna request that Phil comes down as well for there. All right, guys, thank you. Hey, I'm coming to you from the uh, Bensonwood showroom over here, and they've got a great little mini wall mock-up. This is similar to the house I built a couple years ago with them, but this is kind of the wall version on steroids. We've got some serious insulation going on. So let me show you what we've got. We've got basically three different sections here of the wall. Let's start with the outside. On the outside, they're pre-installing a rain screen. This is a one by three, it looks like, on the outside, so then the siding will get attached to that. Then we've got an air gap. They don't show it on this model, but they're then installing an outside WRB. That's gonna be an air and a water barrier, but mainly water barrier, because behind that, we've got maybe an inch and a half, two inches of wood fiber insulation on the outside, which is also gonna act as shear for the house. Inboard of that, you're gonna see the framing is kind of like a two by 10, or maybe this is a two by 12, but it's not regular dimensional lumber. This is a CLT version. This is basically laminated, almost like a mini glue lamb. And then inside of that, they're gonna uh, dense pack that with cellulose. And then inside of the house, they're gonna have a, a layer of OSB. That's gonna act as your vapor control layer and that's gonna be fully taped. I think these guys are big SEGA fans. So the house I did was fully taped with SEGA on the inside. And I think actually this membrane on the outside is a SEGA membrane as well. And then on the inside, now this is your airtight layer, right? So anything that's, that's hitting here, we're not gonna be able to dry this way. We're gonna have to dry to the inside. And then from here, we can dry to the outside. Now on the inside, you're gonna frame the house with a two by four up against that after these panels have been installed. And then all of your electrical, all your normal um, kind of utilities is gonna be in this cavity here, which you could then fill with a um, mineral wool insulation. This looks like maybe a rock wool bat on the inside, but look how thick that is. That's gotta be a R50 plus assembly. And we basically have zero thermal bridging through that once we've got that exterior insulation all the way through there and just some serious amounts of insulation. These guys are absolutely bomber assemblies. Let's go see what else we can see. All right, y'all, incredible tour so far. We just talked about the process, but here's the final product, and I'm gonna kinda of talk you through it. So, when you build a Bensonwood home, you basically get what I would call a SIPS panel. Now, it's not a traditional SIPS where you have foam in the center, but it is a component wall. And what I love about it is that there's no waste in their process. Incredible. Okay, so let's look at this. This wall right here, you can see this probably is, I don't know, 30 feet long or so. Eventually, this will get shrink wrapped on the inside, and this is the end of the line. This is the window station. So what you're looking at here is the interior wall section. They frame it with two by threes, and when this gets completed and framed on site, then the mechanicals are installed. So the electrician's gonna drill through here, put his normal boxes on, all those kinds of things happen on site. But look at the precision, they've got everything down. When they cut these studs to length, they're cutting at a machine 
that's putting the inkjet numbers on so the framers, when they get down to the framing line, they know exactly where it goes. There's even markings for the studs that are inkjetted on. Everything's precisely cut by the computer. Now, when we look at this wall assembly, one thing that's really cool is they're using OSB on the inside as their air control layer and their vapor control layer. And they're doing that by taping the seams. They're using this green Sega resand tape on the inside. We saw this in Switzerland, so they're really kind of using European building practices. And what you're seeing here is the window buck opening. Now let's go to the side here. And if you look at the side, this is sort of framed, so to speak, with some two by tens, but this is not a standard two by 10. This is from a company called Nordic. And this is actually kind of like an LVL stud, or uh, I should say a glue lamp stud, really. Because what you're looking at is each one of these like three quarter or one inch strips has been glued together, so this is super stable. It's not moving, it's not shrinking, it's not warping, it's not changing. These studs are on 24 inch centers, and what's happening is they're sheathing it on the outside with zip sheathing. This is the, the thicker zip. This is actually, uh, I believe, 5 8 inch thick zip. Am I right? Yeah, that's the, the uh, brown version. They're taping it in the field, so all the taping have, or, or I should say they're taping it in the factory here. And then, on top of that, they're installing their rain screen battens. Now this must have a vertical siding going on this one, because if you look close, you'll see here that we've got a, actually a um, corrugated plastic that's right up against the wall, so that there's airflow and drainage behind, but then they're probably going to be screwed in the siding. Normally you'd see these on vertical battens. Now inside this cavity, they've got a killer machine over here that does nothing but dense pack the cellulose. What a cool machine. Now, I didn't get to see it running, unfortunately, but the idea was you've got these bags of cellulose that they unbag, they put a ton of them into this machine and it kind of sucks up, goes overhead, and they've got a filling station that fills all these wall bays. So this wall, when it comes out from the factory, pre-insulated, all ready to, ready to go, and because we're taped on the inside and the outside, we're super tight and super insulated. Okay, so now we're at the window station. I'm not sure we're gonna to get to see if install any windows. We might, ooh, what is that? European beautiful triple glaze. This looks like UPVC. Looks like maybe Logic brand, I'm not familiar with this. But here's what they're doing. They're again using Sega tape to protect the entire rough opening all the way around. I love that detail. We try and do that on our houses as well. This is, uh, what is this? Fentrum F, I believe, which is kind of their fleece back tape. A little thicker. Um, uh, adhesive on this and then they've got a fully waterproof opening you can see they also have a back dam here this is the this is the uh, water stop so if anything leaks into the cavity it's going to hit that back dam and it's going to run forward and out and they've got a suction cup machine i understand of some variety that's going to help them install these windows they have the same suction cup machine which actually blew my mind for installing both the advantech flooring on some floor sections that were pre-built and for the zip sheathing right here. One man, pick it up, it would suction cup over, he could drop that sheet of either three quarter Advantec or this five eighths or half inch zip, whatever they happen to be using, drop it right on, glue it, nail it, all in the factory. Also interesting note at this factory, all the framing stations are, are like at this level, right? So none of the framers are bending over. Nobody's doing this, nailing down low, everything's at a nice comfortable uh, kind of table minus height. Such an interesting factory. Dream come true to meet Ted as well. Amazing company. Now one thing I said when I was talking about this wall is actually wrong. I mentioned that the wall is framed with this 2x10 material. That's incorrect. I meant to say that that 2x10 is the top and the bottom plate. But inside here on 24 inch centers are those eye joists that we saw the framers working with. And also one other interesting thing I forgot to mention. They actually are pre-drilling these interior walls too. Look at this. So this is a continuous path to the electrician. And I didn't see this until after I filmed over here. Look at this. They've got the hold down in place already. All you got to do is drop your Titan HD in and put the plate on and now all the structure is tied down. These guys have thought of everything. What an incredible company. Now if you're not familiar with Benson Wood, I'll put a link in the description below, but they have kind of two lines. They have Benson Wood, which is their real full custom I'm working with uh, Lake Flato Architects on two upcoming, hopefully, projects that will come to fruition uh, using Benson Wood in their system. So they, they can either you can either work with their architects or your architects, depending on what you want. But they also have the Unity Homes division, 
And that is, those homes are built in this factory as well. They've got, I'm not sure how many floor plans, but floor plans that are already pre-built and are incredibly affordable. Ted was throwing around some prices that I was shocked by on the Unity homes. You can get a measured performance, a super tight house, a super well insulated house, a house that's gonna last not just for decades, but for centuries. This is an incredible company. And the last point that I wanna make on this is, look at these factory conditions, right? It was raining a minute ago outside and it's perfectly dry in here. It's perfect condition. So this wall here, which is now air sealed and complete and insulated with dense packed cellulose is never ever gonna see any moisture. Which means that we've got a mold free house to begin with. We've got a really good exterior waterproofing and air sealing system. There's not gonna be any air leakage that's gonna deposit moisture in the wall cavities. This is gonna to lead to an incredibly well built house that's really gonna be very, very healthy indoor air and no mold on the inside of the house. Love these guys, very, very impressed. I've never built a house for my family, but when I do, I'm sure gonna be talking to these guys. I mean, this system's incredible. You should absolutely call Ben. All right, guys, link in the description for those guys below and all their social. If you're not currently a subscriber, we've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. Hit that subscribe button below. Otherwise, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.